Hi, this is Steve, and we're coming to you from Lake Minnesong, Wisconsin, where the weather is perfect. We, we ran away from the 100 degree heat in Texas to come up here. Anyways, this is just going to be a short video on um, basically an introduction to network marketing, uh, specifically Nerium International. Now, one thing I want to point out is this video, there's a lot better information on Nerium.com. Um, the last run club.com, our founder goes into a lot of detail about our company. If you're doing a lot of research on the internet, the inside scoop on Nerium.com is where you'd want to start, just so you don't get any incorrect information. And if you're kind of a science geek, you can go to NeriumBiotech.com. Anyways, so um, first of all, you know, this video is for a lot of people who um, maybe have no experience in network marketing, have never done something like this before, and are kind of like, okay, I, I, I've heard about this, but I don't know much about it. So first of all, really, what what is network marketing? And it's basically, it's just an efficient business model that pays independent business owners to get new customers and to build a team. Um, the company pays commissions post-sale instead of advertising dollars before the sale. And so the company should provide um, product research and development, shipping, accounting, marketing, tools, training, leadership and mentorship, and incentives. And here's a big question. Um, who actually joins network marketing companies? You know, I find there's a really wide variety of people who join this business. We, we have people who join it who are um, very, very tight financially and in desperate situations. Um, I also have people in our group who are worth literally $50 million. Um, we have people who are successful lawyers and doctors who are looking to maybe either add income, um, do something fun, or totally change careers. Um, I have realtors who have sold 4,300 homes and are deciding that this business is um, their next thing they want to do with their life. So, and another interesting thing is who, who are the type of people who invest in network marketing companies? Um, Warren Buffett actually owns quite a few network marketing companies. He loves them. Um, Donald Trump has owned and participated in network marketing companies himself. So, <clears throat> what I, one thing I want to talk about is um, Robert Kiyosaki's, um, this is his cash flow quadrant, okay? So Robert Kiyosaki is arguably the best-selling financial author in the country. And what he talks about is this cash flow quadrant are the four ways you can make money. As an employee, as a self-employed person, as a business owner, and investor. And so as an employee, your income is always tied to how many hours you work. You work for someone. Um, you don't have a lot of freedom. Now certainly you can make extremely good money. And sometimes this is a great situation. Um, but a lot of times people go, okay, I'm not making enough money or I don't have the freedom. And what they try and do is they try and become a self-employed person. This, and this can have a lot of things. You know, an electrician who worked for somebody just starts to start his own company. A plumber decides to have his own plumbing company. Um, a doctor can work for a hospital or he can go into private practice. You know, doctors, lawyers, a lot of those type of people fall in the self-employed category. Now, one of the big problems with the self-employed category is typically all your income is exclusively dependent on you participating in the business. Um, if you're not participating in the business, you don't make any money. I know um, a lot of doctors and lawyers and pharmacists who are like, man, I make great money, but I have such high overhead that I can't possibly take a vacation. I have no time off. I've got to work crazy hours. Sure, I got income. I have no freedom whatsoever. Um, for example, my mom owned a floor shop and she worked crazy hours, especially around the holidays. She had no freedom whatsoever. Um, one of my business partners, she did sell cosmetic lasers for a company and decided, hey, this would be a great idea to have our own laser. And she goes, it was an absolute nightmare. I was the last person who got paid every month and we were overjoyed to get out of that business with just losing $20,000. So. What, over here we have uh, business owners and investors. Now, the way I'll define business owner is a business owner has a business that the structure of it doesn't um, completely depend on him always participating, okay? Yes, it takes some effort to get it off the ground and some time, but when it's up and running, you can step away from that business and still get income. 
Now, often to start a business like this, you've got to have a lot of capital, um, a lot of know-how. It, it can be super challenging to start a business like this. Sometimes it also can take years and years and years before the business is actually up running on its own. And investors actually invest in businesses. Um, so one of the things uh, to understand about network marketing is you're able with a small, very small upfront investment, you're able to get into this B business category because the network marketing company itself provides um, all the structure and training and materials and uh, marketing materials, everything you need. And so it's, it's, very, it's probably the easiest way to get over here and start making money as a B um, instead of an E or an S. Now one other thing I want to talk about is um, the definition of what, what is wealth or what is wealthy. And I think Robert Kiyosaki has a great definition. He goes, wealthy is the amount of time you're able to live without working. So for example, if I, um, if I need $4,000 a month to pay all my bills and take care of my family, and I have $8,000 cash in the bank and I lose my job, then I am two months wealthy. Does that make sense? Um, I could make a uh, million dollars a year and have $100,000 in the bank and maybe I'm one month wealthy, okay? Or what a business like this allows you to do because a lot of the income from network marketing can be residual, if I say I'm pretty frugal and I only need about $3,000 a month to live, then if I have a business that gives me $3,000 a month in residual income, then technically I'm infinitely wealthy. I don't actually have to work from that point on as long as my business is still generating the income. Now here's the interesting thing. Some people like that for the time freedom and some people want to build wealth so they can become rich. And Robert Kiyosaki would define rich as earning a million dollars a year. So when I'm wealthy, then I have the time to go and uh, look at different investments and properties. You know, some people say, hey, if you're a real estate investor, you're gonna look at 100 properties, put offers on 10, buy one. I'll tell you what, that takes time to do that, right? But if I'm wealthy, even if I'm not making a lot of money, now I've got the time to invest in my financial future. So, so what are some of the benefits of a network marketing company? Um, no boss. Um, you've got no commute, no alarm, no employees, no overhead, no office politics, no compromises, no discrimination, and no education or experience required. Um, you know, I have people in my network marketing businesses with doctorates and people who barely graduated high school. And it doesn't seem to matter what your educational background is in terms of what people's success is. I've got friends um, making, you know, $100,000 a month in network marketing who just graduated high school. And I've got no other people who were, you know, pharmacists and doctors and are now doing network marketing very successfully. So some of the other uh, potential benefits, and I do this, list this as potential because it really does matter in this industry what company you join um, if you're going to experience this. So you can uh, represent a great product, which is a lot of fun. Um, there's an unlimited income potential, and I, you know, really... Um, top end in the industry, you're going to see about $1.3 million a month. And for most people, they would consider that unlimited. Um, if that's not enough money for you, you know, this industry might not be right for you. Um, the potential of having a residual income, which gives you more freedom. You can enjoy who you work with. Uh, I love the people on my team. We've got a great time. They're really, they're like family. You've got time freedom. In other words, I can come up here and spend two months in northern Wisconsin because I've, I have that type of freedom. You help people. Um, for me personally, one of the things I like best about this business, our company in particular, is the tremendous benefit that people get from being associated with you. You have a lot of personal growth. Um, low risk, you know, $1,000 to start a business is extremely low risk compared to uh, starting a traditional business. Um, huge tax benefits for a thousand dollars in initial investment I have the ability to participate in the tax benefits of very large corporations get it's fun and again community really we consider a lot of the people we do business with as family so here's a question why um, you know a lot of times network marketing gets 
it's a bad wrap. Why is that? Well, let's look into that. The main thing to understand is this a business model um, isn't inherently good or bad. It's just simply a tool, okay? In other words, um, take a doctor, for example. A doctor can save your life or through carelessness can ruin your life. Um, interest rates, hey, it's great if you've got a low interest rate on a rental property that's throwing off a lot of cash, or you could be up to your eyeballs in credit card debt. Bad thing, right? Guns, you know, great to protect your family, great for hunting, uh, not so good if you shoot yourself in the foot, okay? <laughs> uh, sharp knives, hey, you can take and you can make a great meal for your family, or oops, you can slice your finger. It can go either way. So really what you do is you take network marketing and you attach in, to it um, in someone's intention, uh, their personality, their integrity, and their values. And those things are actually what makes the company and the opportunity good or bad, not the original structure it itself. And what this type of business model tends to do is it tends to take someone's intention, intention personality, integrity, and values and just totally multiply it. Um, one of the reasons I feel that network marketing gets a bad rap is because people see this business model and uh, they get so excited about the potential of dreaming again and having freedom and they go into it. But one of the problems is, is the cost of starting a network marketing company is so much closer to the cost of a lottery ticket than the cost of an actual traditional brick and mortar business that most people treat it more like a lottery than a serious business that they're gonna to have to invest, invest a huge amount of time and energy to get off the ground. And as a result, people have a lot of disappointment and unresolved disappointment is a huge sticking point in people's lives. So, so when um, you're looking at a network marketing company, um, what are the things you wanna evaluate, okay? And hopefully if you don't choose to join Nerium, Hopefully in the future, if you're looking at another network marketing company, you'll remember what I'm gonna teach you here and it will save you a huge amount of grief. Now, personally, um, I came come up with this from 18 years of experience in doing businesses like this and having made a, you know, a six-figure income in the industry and having had the opportunity to meet and sit down with a lot of um, company owners and top-level distributors. So the first thing to look at is leadership. Um, there's a reason in large Fortune 100 companies that they pay the people who are running the companies ridiculous amounts of money because they know leadership is where it's at, okay? For our company in particular, um, the leadership is what got me say, hey, this is a good product, and going to, wow, this is an amazing opportunity, um, was Jeff Olson. Jeff Olson um, in the industry is known as the millionaire maker because of how many people he's succeeded in becoming very successful. Um, his passion with this company is to legal, leave a legacy for his family. There's something called the DSA or the Direct Selling Association. So that's an organization that all the top um, owners and executives of all the largest network marketing companies in the world actually, and specifically in the US, um, belong to. And every year there's a big meeting and Jeff Olson has been the only person for 15 years in a row he's been the keynote closing speaker. So. All of the top executives, all the top owners, every year they say, Jeff, we want to know, what, how, give us some advice on running business So, because he has such good in, insight. Another very, very important thing is you don't want the person who owns your company to have never actually been a distributor. It, it causes problem after problem after problem because they simply don't know what it actually takes for the distributor to be successful. And if they don't know that, um, they're going to make a lot of stupid decisions. And Jeff Olson has a big um, history of putting his integrity over money. On two different occasions, one time he was making $80,000 a month and another t time he was making $250,000 a month as a distributor for a network marketing company. And both times he walked away from that income because he decided that the company he was associated with had lost their integrity. So you want to look at product, okay? Um, this is a, a huge, huge deal. You don't want to sell something that someone can buy somewhere else. Uh, you don't want to sell something that someone can buy somewhere else for less. And you don't want to sell someone that some, someone can buy um, or potentially copy if you have business success. And uh, really, I would go to the last run club. Jeff explains really why we have uh, such an um, excellent barrier to entry, we call it. Again, timing. 
You know, what I say to people as I go, look, you can't surf without a wave. And the easiest thing in this industry is to get with a company that's growing very rapidly and you can ride that wave of business success. It makes it much, much easier. Really, you want minimum of 30% annual growth rate. And I really typically prefer to see that type of growth rate per month in any company I'm associated with. So one thing we say is documentation beats conversation. Um, I can have an opinion that Nerium is an incredible company. Someone else can have an opinion that their company is the best. But there's a third opinion that's the most important one, and that's the opinion of the marketplace, and the marketplace votes with dollars. So one of the unique things about Nerium International is in our first year of doing business, we did $100 million in business. Unheard of, never been done before in this industry. The closest company was a company that did $65 million in business in 1994. And so uh, the bottom line is that it's, we're, it's documented. This business is working, it's working massively. Also, um, people love to see the time to profitability. Um, serious business owners love network marketing because they go, what? I can spend $500 or $1,000 to get my business started, and in a month or two months, my business is in the black. And they freak out about that. They're like, you know, I'm used to spending, you know, twenty, thirty, fifty, hundred thousand dollars getting a business started and hoping and praying that in two or three years I'm actually profitable on that. So then compensation really, um, there's a lot of different compensation plans in network marketing. A lot of times these compensation plans favor people with previous experience. So I want to know how many people are succeeding in our company and what type of people. And one thing with Nerium is in less than two years we have over 400 people who are making a six figure year income, 4,500 people who've learned a Lexus car bonus, and at least half of these people have never had any success in network marketing before. So what we see is our business model, you don't have to have previous network marketing experience and contacts and all the skill set to actually be successful. We have the systems in place so someone without all that experience can do well. Next thing you need to look at is your team. You know, who are you joining? Who's going to support you? Um, you want to look at, do the people who are sponsoring me in my business, do they have success? Um, are there a, lot, a large number of people I can call on to help me with my business? The next thing is why did it start? Um, Jeff Olson didn't start this company so he could become a billionaire. That often happens in network marketing. People go, you know what? I can, I've done well before. I've got a couple million dollars sitting around. I can start a network marketing company. I can grow it. I can take, up, take it public and take a big payday and walk away. And uh, I don't have time to go into that, but that always ends up going very poorly for the distributors. So, what, um, if you're new to this industry, what and uh, what could you expect? And really, what I'm going to talk about here is that one year, three years, five years, seven years, I'm talking about um, under-promising and over-delivering. In the industry in general, you can expect maybe one year to get a clue on what you're doing and start um, making a little bit of money. In three years, depending on what your income needs are, you could potentially be making a full-time income. In five years, a nice uh, six-figure income. And in seven years, be an expert, a professional, and get into the you know, forty, fifty, hundred thousand dollar a month type incomes. One thing with Nerium in our business, you know, I just talked about that in 24 months we have um, 400 people who are already making a six-figure income. So we're certainly beating the trend. Um, but I also like to be conservative in what you might expect, um, depending on your ability to follow a system, on your commitment level, and on your ability to really work through all your personal issues. So I hope that helps. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment, um, email me, Facebook me, whatever. I um, hope this was helpful, and goodbye. Have a great day.